Hey guys, Mark here, Rain Wars. Welcome back. Folks, uh, today we're going to continue um, with a message that we've been um, talking about. We're talking about the, the end times and some of the things that we need to look for during, uh, during this time that we're, that we're living in. But folks, before we get into it, <clears throat> I want to give a quick shout to all the new subscribers who've joined the family. I say welcome. I love you guys with the love of the Lord. And if you just happen to have landed on this channel and the message speaks to you, give it a like, a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button and join the family. Folks, let's go ahead and get into this message. <clears throat> you know, folks, like I said, we've been, um, the Lord has just been stirring me to go ahead and do a series of messages um, on, the, on the last days. As an encouragement to my brothers and sisters, but also too, folks, because we have there's a lot of talk out there that we're speaking on the rapture, on um, you know what's going to happen in the last days. What do we need to do? How do we need to prepare? Blah, 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 blah. What I love about the scripture, the Word of God, is that the Lord speaks about all of these things, folks. Now I'm not saying that we can't get a prophetic word and 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 everything else, but you know one of the best prophetic words, and I said this in my last video that we can get is. Um, you know, when Jesus speaks himself <laughs> and tells us what it is that we need to do. But also, too, folks, um, um, in the scriptures, in the word of God, it talks a lot about various things for us to look for during um, these last days as signs and for having us to be prepared for whatever that's out there. And, you know, what I love about the Word of God, like I said, the Word of God, 100% true. Um, and, you know, like I said, we have a lot of, we have, there's a lot of talk out there and various things people, and like I said, folks, test the Spirit. Test the Spirit. Test the Spirit. In all, you know, when people are bringing prophetic words or anything like that, test the Spirit. The Bible even says for us to do that. So that we're not, you know, we fall into confusion, deception, and all these other things we don't want to go and fall into. Um, take every prophetic word to the Lord and ask the Lord <clears throat> if this is a word for you. Um, you know, or, or to reveal, to either confirm that word, if that word is true, whatever. Um, but we take all words to the Lord. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and get into uh, some of the things, as I said, that we're continuing. We talked about um, in one video we had, we put out there, I'm going to put all the videos in the uh, link below. Um, we went into the first video, I think when we first started this channel, talked uh, on the rapture, Matthew 24. Um, this past video that we just did on Luke 21. You know, where Jesus was telling us various signs and various things for us to look for during the end days, during the end times. And today, we're going to look at 1 Thessalonians 5, um, which is talking about the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord. Folks, <clears throat> we need to get this and we need to hear this clearly. And the Lord wants us to, and folks, this is a blessing. The Lord wants us to hear and know these things. So, let's go ahead and get into it right now. I'm going to be reading from the Amplified. And I believe that this will be a blessing to all that hear it. Because I know, like I said, there's a lot of things out there. But I, I always say, folks, the Word of God is the, bless, is the best place. Um, when we're looking for truth. That's the place we need to look for. And I'm not saying that, you know, um, you know other, you know, you can't take a prophetic word for, to, from, from other people or anything. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying test the Spirit. Take it to the Lord. So let's get into it. <clears throat> First Thessalonians 5 says, uh, and I'm reading for the Amplified, the day of the Lord. And this is what it says, folks. This is very powerful, what the Lord is telling us. First Thessalonians chapter 5, starting at verse 1. This is what it says. It says, now, as to the times and dates, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know perfectly well that the day 
of the return of the Lord is coming just as a thief comes unexpectedly and suddenly in the night. Did you hear that, folks? You hear that? It's one of the things that we have to understand. For you yourselves know perfectly, perfectly well, that the day of the return of the Lord is coming just as a thief comes unexpectedly and suddenly in the night. This will be unexpected and sudden when the Lord's return. While they are saying peace and safety, all is well and secure, then in a moment unforeseen, destruction will come upon them suddenly, like labor pains on a woman with child, and they will absolutely not escape. Let me say that one more time. When they say, when they are saying peace and safety, you know, all is well and secure. Then, in a moment unforeseen, destruction will come upon them suddenly, like labor pains on a woman with child, and they will absolutely not escape, for there will be no way to escape the judgments of the Lord. Mm. But you, but you, me, believers, all you who believe in Christ as Savior and acknowledge Him as God, as God's Son, are not in spiritual darkness, nor held by its power, that the day of judgment will overtake you by surprise, like a thief. For you are all sons of the light and sons of the day. We do not belong to the night nor the darkness. So then let us not sleep in spiritual indifference as the rest of the world does, but let us keep wide awake, alert, and cautious, and let us be sober, self-controlled, calm, and wise. Folks, powerful. This day, if you are a child of God, you are born again, you are, believe, in Christ Jesus as Savior and acknowledge Him as the Son of God, this day will not surprise you. This day will not come upon you or surprise you like a thief, like it will those who do not know God or believe in the Lord, <clears throat> do not know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, do not acknowledge Him. It will come as a thief to them, but not we who are children of God. <clears throat> Four, verse seven. For those who sleep, sleep at night. And those who are drunk, get drunk at night. But since we believers belong to the day, let us be sober, having put on the breastplate of the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet, the hope and confident assurance of salvation. We're confident our assurance of our salvation. For God has not destined us to incur his wrath. That is, he did not select us to condemn us. You hear that, folks? You hear that? But to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. We will obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Who died willingly for us. So that whether we are awake, alive, or asleep, dead, at Christ appearing, we will live together with him, sharing eternal life. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Therefore, encourage and comfort one another and build up one another, just as you are doing. Praise God, folks, this day, or should I say the day of the Lord, you are a child of God. You are a believer in our Lord Jesus Christ. You have received our Lord Jesus Christ. You know that he is the son of God. He died for you and was resurrected 
shed his blood for the remission of your sin, resurrected, shed his blood for the remission of your sin. Like I said, uh, resurrected, ascended, and now seated at the right hand of God. This Jesus, <laughs> our Lord and Savior, folks, um, um, you know, we're in him. And he's in us. And this day, for those who are in Christ, will not come as a thief. But if you do not know God, if you, or should I say, know, should I say, accepted the Son of God, if you've rejected him, if you have not, um, you've rejected him, you don't want anything to do with him or anything like that or anything, you know, let me live my life, be whatever and stuff like that. And folks, everybody has to make a decision as to what they want to go ahead and do. But those who are in darkness, this day will come as a thief in the night. And, um, and folks, <laughs> when that day the Lord comes and the, the justice of God, just, or I say, you know, you know the, the judgments of God come. Folks, so I urge, if you do not know Jesus, if you have not accepted our Lord and Savior as your personal Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is both King and Lord, <clears throat> um, and you're just, you know, out there. You know, eternity, folks, is a long time. And I know a lot of times people don't like talking about, um, you know, uh, they like they love talking about heaven and all that kind of stuff, but hell is real. And the judgments of God are real. So, um, if you do not know the Lord, I ask you today, don't wait, don't wait another day, don't wait another minute to cry out to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and ask Him <clears throat> to be your Lord and Savior. Let him, invite him into your heart. You know, repent and turn away from all the things that um, things that the world are doing in violation of the word of the Lord and go the way of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know, so I love you guys and I hope this message was a blessing to you. I'm going to leave the link below and folks, you can check out the other two videos that I said that we do, those links will be below on Matthew 24 and on Luke 21. And um, this is the, just another um, another video that we're talking about. We're keeping our antennas and our radar up for the return of the Lord. So if this message is a blessing to you, give it a like and thumbs up. Leave, and hit the subscribe button and join the family. Lord Jesus loves us. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ loves us and only wants the best for us. So we'll end it right here, and we'll see you in the next video.